Good morning, everybody. January 23rd. About 7 o'clock in the morning here. In Dingalan, Aurora. You're watching Santa Claus is now living in the Philippines. And thanks for tuning in. New subscribers, thank you very much. If you're a new viewer, please hit that subscribe button. Only takes a second and it's free. You never even have to watch again. If you just hit my channel by mistake. Hey, thanks anyway. At least you get to see some uh, beautiful views of the ocean. Pacific Ocean and Sierra Madre Mountains. And you get to see this goofball who people call Santa Claus. Because he looks like him. Actually, I'm just a retired American. From, formerly from Baltimore and then Florida, USA. I bought this property, uh, well, I kind of bought it, about, uh, I don't know, getting close to three years now. With the intentions of making a resort. We built it up, we put Kubo's, we put all kinds of stuff here, getting ready. And then we got hit with COVID. So we never made a dime. And then we got hit by Typhoon. And destroyed everything I built. Not everything, but a lot. Please watch the videos, you'll find out exactly what. There's plenty of videos on it. So now I'm here, again, trying to fix things. Make it livable again. I'm doing the best I can, but it's not easy. Especially to a property I don't even have a title to. I just have rights to be here. We're working on that situation, but it's going to be a long, drawn-out problem with many issues I don't want to discuss right now because uh, they're very difficult but we are working on it only time will tell we also have a property in Batangas we're trying to sell you can watch that video also because uh, the plan was to sell uh, Batangas and uh, come here permanent. But I don't know about now. I don't know what the plans are going to be now. We'll see. Who knows what the future might bring. That's my daughter. I have a five-year-old little girl. And that's uh, my wife's niece, her sister's daughter, Michelle. She's one of the caretakers here. The other caretaker is Jimmy, my wife's brother. If you follow the channel, you know all this already. I'm just telling the new uh, subscribers and anybody that's new to be viewing for the first time my channel. YouTube has a thing called analyst analytics. It's saying that 60% of the people who watch my channel are not subscribers. So I beg you guys, please do Santa Claus a favor and hit that subscribe button so I can grow this channel like many other vloggers out there from the U.S. and Australia and U.K. and all over that have thousands of viewers. And thousands of subscribers. That way I can get some better equipment. I can get some uh, drones. I can get some better cameras. Maybe underwater cameras. And show you a lot more. But right now all I have is a cell phone camera. But if I can get enough viewers. Subscribers. 
I can get better equipment and show you guys a lot more. But I appreciate you sticking with me, everyone. All my friends and family who are subscribers. People that I've known for my whole life. High school friends. Thank you, everyone. I'm doing the best I can. Showing you the work that's being done here. Showing you the people I hire. All local people. I hire. To give them a job. So they can make some money and feed their families. Because this is a very small province. It's relatively poor. They don't have a lot of money. They just live day by day. Pretty much everybody lives day by day, hand to mouth. So I do my best to give them a job. Even if it's just for a week. One day, two days, a week, a month. Whatever I can do. But I'm not going to build a whole lot more here. I'm not going to do a whole lot more. Just make it livable because, like I said, I do not own the property right now. I have a thing called rights, which gives you permanent access here. And nobody will kick me off. But I, on the other hand, uh, I don't own it and I can't sell it, even if I wanted to. So that's the situation, folks. If you want to know more, you can watch uh, some of my older videos. But we did get some information yesterday when Grace uh, went out of town. Uh, but like I said, I, I really don't want to get into the technicalities of it. It's too complicated. Um... I think we're heading to Cabanatuan on a bus today because we have to get that generator part and a few other things. And I don't want to really drive. I'm tired of the two hour drive to go into the city every time. The big city of Cabanatuan. So we're going to do the bus. It'll be an experience anyway. It'll be, I don't know, something different. And I can relax and not drive. It's tiresome driving around here because it's one lane each way all the time. And you're constantly passing tricycles and big trucks, slow things. It's not really a fun drive. If anyone's ever done it before, let me know. So I'll try to do a video maybe on the bus or in Tibetan I don't know. It's not uh, always easy when you just have a cell phone. But I'll, I'll do something. So our worker uh, has, an, has a, a partner today. So there's two of them working on it. Maybe they'll get a lot done while we're gone. Michelle's going to have to keep an eye on Catherine. Maybe her friends will come over and play with her. Our tree guy is not here yet. But he'll come and uh, clean some more of these palm trees. He did a pretty good job on certain ones. I'll show you this one right here. He said it's going to die. The coconuts are rotten. All the branches are dying. You never know. It might come back. But if we only lose one, that's not bad. And this one particularly isn't a bad one to lose because it's close to my garage. So this one might have to go eventually. But uh, I'm not sure. But the other ones he's been climbing and he's been taking all the dead branches out. Uh, like uh, this one, for instance, is very clean now. It's good. I think he's done all these. In the United States, it costs uh, $30 per tree to clean. If you have palm trees in your yard, $30 per tree. That's um, 1,500 pesos per tree. Here they get paid per day. Or that's what I am paying them. Uh, that's all he asked for. 
You pay workers here 500 pesos a day, most workers, if it's a per day deal and it's not a contract deal. It's 500 pesos a day for um, professional people. For laborers, it's usually like 300, 350. So 500 pesos is $10, people. 1,000 pesos is $20. Wow, what you got? Shell? Very good. That's my little girl, Katrin, five years old. She's the joy of my life. Thank you. She's the reason I moved here. You guys can watch those videos also on why I moved here, how I ended up here. If you're interested in all that stuff, So, uh, that tells you a little bit about me, where I'm at, what's going on for new viewers and new subscribers. Please, once again, hit that subscribe button and uh, share the channel. Just get your, your mom and dad, your sister, brothers, neighbors to check out the channel. Say, hey, this guy looks like Santa Claus. Check him out. He lives in the Philippines. Just subscribe for him. He needs some subscribers so he can help uh, help the people where he lives. That's all I'm trying to do. Build the channel so I can help more people. So I can get better equipment. Show you guys more. So uh, I appreciate it. So in the meantime, uh, keep watching, stay safe. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll try to answer it. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell if you want to see every video I make. I post every day at least one. But until then, until next time, maybe later today, God bless everyone. That's going to do it for Santa Claus here in Dingland. Take care. Over and out.